Good morning everyone, this is Joseph with the Flying Pigeon LA Bike Shop and I'm going to walk through the shop and show you what we've got in, in our inventory this, uh, this week. I'll just make one note though that um, this is before shop hours open on a Monday and uh, this place is a disaster area. Uh, what we've got in the shop right now is a bunch of oddball stuff. Um, these aren't oddball things though I'm pointing the camera at. These are our demonstrator Bromptons. We've got an M3 an S6 and an H6 here as uh, test bikes for people to take for a spin. Sorry, an S2 is what that is. Up in the window, there's a little Dutchy 3-speed small and cream. This is a new bike for 2014. Down here on the floor, there's a, a Roadster Sport, a large in blue, and it's an 8-speed from Linus. That's, uh, next to that is a tall women's Pashley Sovereign, Princess Sovereign. There's a 59-centimeter Moto Bacane Jury. These, this is a used bike here. Um, I, we put a Brooks saddle, some Brooks bar tape. We're asking, like, I think it's seven something for that bike. Next to that is a really cool old uh, Sparta, and this is a very large frame from Holland for someone who's like six foot three, six foot four, looking for an excellent and durable city bike that doesn't want to spend, you know, sixteen hundred dollars getting a new one. You can get this for half the price. Uh, next to that is a Flying Pigeon, and then this is a uh, part of, um, well, the on the ongoing crisis of Christiania bikes. It turns out right now that there are Almost none of these left in the country. Uh, we've got two of them, both of which uh, had to purchase, assemble, and then refund the money of the customers who ordered them. Um, the first one I'm pointing at here, this is your standard, actually not a standard, I had to build that seven speed wheel up. Um, this one has, a, it's, a, it's, a it's a frame with no box. I had the box partially assembled out of plexiglass and then things fell through with the customer. And so I've got this partially assembled Christiania here. Um, it was a lot of fun. The guys at the Know How Shop in Highland Park helped get it together. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. And then over here, this is a three-speed Christiani with a soft bench. I have no canopies or benches for these bikes. And this bike is a little unique. It's got 20-inch front wheels and a three-speed in the back. Um, so yeah, I've got some non-standard stuff here in the shop. There, But uh, these are standard. Yep, maxi uh, and easy fit um, bike seats for kids. I've also got over here on the wall two pre-owned Gazelle Tour Populaire T3 models. These have got the rod brakes, um, that one with the big funky B33 saddle. That's not standard. I've uh, just swapped that on just for some random test ride reason. Um, but so yeah, both of these are pre-owned T3s. They've been gone over, and uh, I still need to do a little bit of chrome polishing. Uh, less than a grand for these bikes, somewhere in the 9 to like $800 range is what I'm guessing. One of them's got a really great gazelle, or sorry, yep, seat on it. And the rest of these bikes here are all, all the repairs I still have to work on. This is a cool pink bike I have to work on. Um, helmets from Nutcase and Burn. Uh, some pumps and lights. We got some new lights from Saigo Light uh, because people kept coming in and asking for an insanely bright light and uh, USB chargeable, so that's what we've got here. I've also got some Los Angeles cycling caps you can see in the middle of the frame. Baskets from Wald bags from Linus, some wooden and some cork grips. Of course, we've got Brooks saddles here, a big collection of Sturmy Archer hubs, in case you're looking for a three-speed or two-speed or five-speed or whatever. A um, bunch of rear racks. And that's pretty much it. So, uh, great bottles, dynamo lights, and yeah, all right. And if you're looking for a beautiful painting by Timothy Sellers of the Byright in Lincoln Heights, we got that too. All right, everybody. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, don't, I'll see you at Cicla Via on April 6th. And uh, take care.